Emeka Karonwezi was born in Nigeria and came to the U.S. in the early 90s. He served in the U.S. Marines before studying law and setting up his own practice. And uh, that one right there is uh, take my pictures in law school. He believes targeting immigrant visas, which can take years to apply for, doesn't make sense. They have enough time to vet these people before they come in, you know. So, so in actuality, I don't think it's, it's because of security reasons, because they have the time to see who this person is. The new rules don't affect tourists or students with temporary visas, but they do affect Nigerians applying for visas with a path to permanent residency. Nigerians are among the best educated immigrant groups in the US, with a high percentage holding graduate degrees. These new restrictions, though, could push the country's top talent to look for opportunities elsewhere. Albert Jima manages a men's clothing boutique that caters to the business community in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. He says the new restrictions could also encourage highly educated Nigerians to stay in Nigeria. Look at different sectors in Nigeria, you realize that the investments keep growing from countries outside. So now talents are not going to be going there to boost the economy of the U.S., but they are going to be boosting the economy of Nigeria. And who says you must go to the U.S.? Nigeria's economy boomed in the early 2000s, but GDP growth has been stagnant since a recession in 2016, leading many professionals to look for work overseas. Nigeria's foreign minister said his country was blindsided by the Trump administration's decision. U.S. authorities say they'll consider lifting the restrictions if Nigeria improves its security and information sharing. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.